Hey YouTube, it's your girl Hood Barbie. Okay, this is take three of this video. I guess I'm doing a little bit too much talking in between, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started just to let you guys know. Um, I'm having like a bad like allergy attack. I can't stop sneezing. The pollen is high in my area, so that's why I'm dressed like this and I look a little bad. So please bear with me and um bear with the videos as well. This is the part two. It's a combination of the what to put in my beginner's makeup kit as well as I'm starting out as a makeup artist video that I did. So if you haven't watched those two videos, please go ahead and check that out so you can see basically the part one to this. I decided to combine the two for this video because I touch bases on both subjects. Um, I want to show you guys other items to go ahead and add to your kit to help um, build onto your kit. As I'm growing, I want to grow with you guys, so when I learn something new, I want to go ahead and share it with you as well. First thing is first, I showed you guys the 120 palette, which was, I feel like, a very good investment if you're interested in having an array of colors and you don't want to have the little small, little, like, hip duos or the single NYX um, eye colors and stuff, you'll get a palette, which is a whole lot easier. You can customize your own palette. You can go to MAC. Or you can get a blank palette and customize it with the colors of your choice. And if you're not interested in doing that and you're a little bit more on a budget, you want to get a pre-designed palette, you can go on eBay. You can go and get, like, just all kinds of different palettes from there. So I'm going to show you guys another option. If you don't want to get the 120 palettes too large for you, maybe, and you want something a little bit smaller you can hold in your hand, I've opted to get this whale palette. It's a 40 color um, palette, and I have it labeled as multi because it's multi-colored. I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. This palette will warn you, I think, about $10 to $15, depending on where you get it from. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of bright colors. So if you're not like a bright colored person, this might not work for you. And if your client is not a bright colored person, this might not work for you. But if you like color, this palette is very awesome. I like it a lot very pretty it's a mixture of shimmer and um matte colors if you have like maybe you're doing a wedding or maybe you're just doing an everyday look someone that's really not interested in doing a lot of color and stuff you can go ahead and get a neutral palette like this this is a 28 piece neutral palette and it's everyday colors it's about 20 matte colors and eight shimmery colors i believe i don't want to tell you guys wrong yeah that's how it is so you can also get this um, on Coastal Scents. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out Coastal Scents for the 28-piece neutral eye palette. Okay, so, so far we've done this. One hand work for stuff, and we can do a very nice look just using those two simple palettes. So let's say, you know, you like me, you have that one favorite blush. Fine. That blush might work for you, but it might not work for someone else. So you want to get an array of colors. Same thing we did with the eyeshadows, we will do with the blushes. Simple, basic, non-name brand blush palette. Ten different colors to choose from. This will basically do the job once you're just starting out. You can get more. Um, you can probably find up to like a 28-piece um, blush set. But this one is just a simple tint. It has pinks and purples, some warm browns. Okay, so you get the gist of your options using this palette. Okay. Next. When dealing with foundation, I know you get nervous, like, oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do when my client wants foundation and I don't have their color? Well, that's why you get palettes. Everything is easy when using palettes. This is a sample palette, meaning this is my palette. You don't have to get this exact one. You can go to Cinema Secret. They sell, um, it's a different c company, of course, but it's the same thing. Or you can Google this and find one. They run you about $20. It's high definition foundation it comes in a simple palette just like so they have five different colors on the back they tell you the colors and let you know that it is available to you to buy it like if you want a half an ounce which is a larger uh, amount of it let's say you found your color or you have a client that uses that color a lot and you don't want to keep like wasting up your palette you can buy the full size um i'm not exactly sure of that price you're gonna have to go and check out the website when you need to customize let's say a pigment or your foundation you would use a mixing palette I don't want to blind you guys it's a thin double-sided mirror and this is good because it keeps everything sanitary and with the mix of this palette 
and your spatula is what you would take your foundation and basically mix it using the spatula it keeps everything sanitary of course you will have your 91 percent or higher alcohol available to clean everything off but that's what you would use the palette for okay and the palette um you can get this small one this was under ten dollars a little bit pricey my spatula set um i think that might have been a little bit a little bit cheaper than the mixing palette but again you can find this on um cinema secrets website and check it out and see how they have their pricing now because i'm not exactly sure if that's where i got that one from because i had it for a while so let's see, we've covered the foundation, we've co covered spatulas, we've covered mixing palettes, blush. Okay, eyelashes and adhesive. So you can get a $2 pair of eyelashes, simple, you can cut them down if need be. I know these look long, but you can cut them down. I got these from Walmart for $2, they made by NYC. These are in black 972B. And the adhesive of choice would be Duo. This is the waterproof adhesive. It goes on white and then it turns into clear. So you don't have to worry about seeing the residue at the top. And you can get this from Sally's Beauty Supply Store for about $5.89. That's what it has on there. And if you get the little discount card, they take like a dollar to fifty cent off, something like that. With brushes. I would suggest getting an array of brushes. Again, I can't tell you exactly how much you'll need because I don't know your lifestyle and how frequently you use. But you can get this brush belt, which doubles as a roll, from eyesofface.com for $15. My brushes are Elf, Posh, Essence of Beauty, Beauty Essentials. Um, it's, it's different brushes. I have some Sonia Cashew brushes in here as well. So it all depends on what you want to use and how you stock it up. I also keep mine in my e.l.f. plastic bag to keep the debris and dirt from hitting it. So, And I also like to keep the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm in there. It helps restore your lips. If you ever feel like your lips are really, really chapped or breaking or they peel when you use like the, like, like the cheap lip gloss or something like that, like it might be your favorite color. If you base it with this, it works a lot better. So I keep that in my kit as well. Last but not least, Cetaphil moisturizer, good for any type of skin. I don't care who your client is. I promise you this stuff is a godsend. I love this stuff. After you wash your face and cleanse it really good or your client's face, put some of this on before you apply any of the makeup and it'll basically do the job, okay? So that's about it. I hope I helped you guys out today. Again, I apologize for my allergies and I apologize for running through this video so fast. And if you have any other questions about anything, that I just showed you guys, leave a comment down there and I'll answer it. Or you can send me a personal message and I'll do another video if need be explaining it in more detail. Okay, stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Love you guys. Bye.